that's the reason this whole place exists. <laughs> you know, without beer, there's really no flying dog at all. And this is the largest brewery in Maryland, and we're hanging out in the lobby. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this awesome bar is what greets you. As you walk in, isn't this cool? I, I like, like to it. walk into this every day. Take it down to my basement, know. you know, <laughs> set it all up. <laughs> Seriously. And this is actually the 33rd largest craft brewery in the entire country. Yeah. I had no idea. Also, Maryland's biggest operation. Yeah, there you go. And Flying Dog is celebrating 25 years this year. 20 of those have been here in Maryland after moving here from Aspen, Colorado, making dozens of different beers, most of which you can try in the tasting room. And making all those beers, of course, takes a lot of work. Yep, and one of the guys behind a lot of that work, Ryan Haynes, joining us this morning. And you're a cellarman. I have no idea what that meant, and so I went back there. Those are some huge machines you work with on a daily basis. Yeah, we wear a lot of hats. Um, we do everything from helping the brewers send wort to the fermenters to cool it down. Uh, we'll pitch the yeast uh, when the time's right and uh, clean the tanks in, in, in between. And how long have you worked here? Been here for about a year and a half. And loved every minute. Talk a little bit about the science because you always hear about, you know, home brewers. They go down in the basement and, they, and poof, they made something. But here, I mean, you can just tell the effort that goes into this work. Yeah, and the concept, the concept still holds true, but we really all about precision here. Um, we really try to make sure we produce a consistent product day in, day out. And we're constantly checking the product just to make sure pHs, um, alcohol content are all the same. And we're getting the same beer day in, day out. There's so much chemistry involved, chemistry and art kind of put together. What is your background? Uh, well, um, I was a physics major back in the day. Um, started out as a home brewer, fell in love with it, and um, just kind of immersed myself in the whole process. I uh, went to beer school in Chicago and uh, haven't looked back since. One other question. All the men here have beards? <laughs> <laughs> it, it does help with the territory. Sure. <laughs> and another cool part, if you look at his shirt, everyone has a cool nickname. We met, who was that? Uh, Groovy Jeff? Groovy Jeffrey. Yeah. Groovy Jeffrey. We're going to talk to him in a little bit. Yeah. What's yours all about? Um, it's a bit of a shout out to a comedy skit. Um, it's a Key and Peel. It's, uh, it's, it's called Substitute Teacher. And it's uh, about, uh, I've seen that skit. Yeah, it's about a substitute teacher who butchers all the, <laughs> all the names at the school, and Principal O'Shaughnessy is one of them. So. <laughs> yeah. well, how how would you Love describe it. the atmosphere here? Obviously, sense of humor comes along with it. Yeah, it's you. You come across a lot of different obstacles, and you have to have uh, an open mind and just a you know, positive spirit about things. And you know, we're making beer all day long and kind of doing what we love. So, what more can can you ask? I found my retirement career. We're going to open a brewery. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> First, we got to come up with some nicknames. Right. And we'll be all right. <laughs> exactly. We could do that. Making the beer might be hard, but we could definitely come up with a nickname. Principal, thank you. <laughs> thank we appreciate you. it. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Back to you guys.